everybody, I'm Joe Baylog. It's a beautiful fall day. We're out here getting ready to, to do a little duck hunting. Uh, we were just throwing all the equipment out of the boat. and Boy, we've got a ton of it when it comes to decoys and everything associated with duck hunting. But I wanted to point out a couple things that I have in my boat um, th that are often overlooked, that are little items that uh, in certain situations I've really needed in the past. So experience has taught me to pack a couple of special things. First and foremost, I carry a big sportsman's trunk in my boat. Um, and, th and there's a real good reason for it. Whenever you, whenever you have extra clothes or, or mechanical decoys or anything that you want to kind of keep out of the out of the elements for the time being, you can just pack everything down uh, in this trunk, and it really helps. Including in that is you know some some little jerk rig kits. This is the Rig'em Right jerk rig kit. We carry a couple of these in here and a flashlight, the whole bit. But inside this tub is another box, and this is a waterproof boat box. Uh, and, and I carry this, and there's a few items in here that hopefully I never use um, that, that I have learned from experience can really come in handy duck hunting. First and foremost, I carry a distress flag. In the event that, that I'm out on big water like Lake St. Clair and, and I have a problem with this boat, I need to get the attention of another boater. There might not be hardly anybody around. you got to either have flares or a distress flag, and this always works. You know, flares can get wet and things like that. So I carry a distress flag. Another thing, always have a roll of duct tape. I have fixed everything in the world hunting and fishing with duct tape. So I always have a roll of duct tape with me whenever I do anything. Another thing, a VHF radio. That stays in here. Nice waterproof box, waterproof radio. In the event I run into safety problems, uh, my cell phone never seems to work when I need it to. So I always have a VHF radio. And also you can listen to the weather. So that's, that's cool. I've got a bunch of uh, tools and little odds and ends in, in this little waterproof case. I keep my paperwork and my registration and things for my boat in case I need that. Uh, and then another thing that's in here is I just have a real quick homemade dog first aid kit. And, and what that is is that's EMT gel. And if you haven't heard of EMT gel for dogs, this really stops bleeding if your dog gets a cut and it's really good for them in an emergency situation. EMT gel, some waterproof silk tape, medical tape, uh, and then a big uh, gauze type cling type thing that if, if my dog should you know really hurt his leg or, or have an artery that gets severed or something I can wrap that all around worst comes to worst we can duct tape it up on top of it stop the bleeding get the dog in uh, so a little dog first aid kit I've got just some odds and ends and some tools I always carry a knife you can run into situations cable ties make sure you always have at least like a hundred cable ties in your boat because we use these for everything duck hunting uh, especially securing camouflage to little items on the boat or just little odds and ends. Cable ties are good. Always have a pack of hand warmers ready to go in case you uh, have a tough day and the weather gets worse. Have some hand warmers. The moral of the story is have all your safety items, uh, everything that you should need for the boat, um, you know, and, and little what ifs. Put them all in this waterproof box. This one even has a little storage in the lid where I have an extra choke tube. And a couple of bucks in case I got to stop somewhere. Set of earplugs, the whole bit. Um, have all that in your waterproof box. We just put it in this trunk. Never have to touch it. It stays dry. It stays out of the elements. It's there when we need it. So a couple little items that a lot of people overlook. Lastly, in this box too, we've got inflatable PFDs if we go in deep water. This is a Stearns inflatable. That's really good. Uh, so you got to have your PFDs. Put all that in the sportsman's trunk and just leave it in your boat. It's it's the way to go. I'm Joe Baylog. We'll have all kinds of duck hunting tips and fall tips and, and gear tips. So stick around.